Good day. My name is Peter Rosso. I work at the University of Queensland in the School of Psychology, and this is my colleague Maria Costinaya. Uh, we've uh, completed an article for the International Journal of Neuropsychotherapy on an interesting topic. A uh, lesser known neuroscientist, uh, the Soviet um, neuroscientist Alexander Luria, his work and some of the implications of his research in neuroscience. As for graduate uh, from Moscow State University, it was really a great honor to write on Alexander Romanovich Luria's biography and developments in the field of neuroscience. I was really lucky to be supported by Peter in this uh, work and reading on Luria's uh, articles and other documentation on his biography. In the article, we're focusing on uh, his biography and just starting from um, first developments in neuroscience in Kazan University all the way through to Second World War and uh, ending up um, at Moscow State University being a head of the clinical psychology department. Uh, in the article, we're primarily focusing on the three functional brain units and some aspects of um, structural and functional organization of uh, human mental functions. The article, as Maria has just pointed out, is um, uh, focusing on some of the key aspects of Luria's work. What we also did in this article was to link some of the work with or aspects of the work with the work of a very well-known neuroscientist, uh, Paul McLean. Uh, he develops a three-brain or three-stage model of understanding neural development, the so-called triune brain, and it seems there's an interesting overlap between his work and the work of Luria, and we explored some of these overlaps as well. I hope you enjoy the read.